Many religions believe that humankind has been created from a single pair of Adam and Eve. May peace be upon them both. But there are some religions who put the blame only on Eve for the downfall of humanity, for the origin sin. But if you read the Quran, the blame for disobeying Almighty God is equally put on both Adam and Eve. May peace be upon them. The Quran says in Surah Araf chapter 7, verse number 19 to 27, Adam and Eve, peace be upon them, they are both addressed more than a dozen times. Both of them, they disobeyed God. Both of them repented and both were forgiven. The blame is equally put on both of them. There is not a single verse in the Quran which puts the blame only on Eve. However, there's one verse in the Quran in Surah Taha, chapter 20, verse 121, which says, and singles out Adam, peace be upon him, and says he disobeyed God. But on the whole, if you read the Quran, the blame is equally put on both of them. There are some religions who, because they say that woman is the cause of the downfall of humanity, which Islam doesn't agree, some religions say, because of that, God punished her. And pregnancy is a curse and punishment of God on the woman. But in Islam, pregnancy uplifts the woman. The Quran says in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse number 1, respect the womb that bore you. The Quran says in Surah Luqman, chapter number 31, verse number 14, we have enjoined on the human beings to be kind to the parents. In travail upon travail did the mother bore them, and in years twain was the weaning. The Quran repeats the message in Surah Akaf, chapter number 46, verse number 15, we have enjoined on the human beings to be good to the parents. In pain did the mother bear them, and in pain did she give them birth. So pregnancy uplifts the woman, does not degrade her.